knife wash. Today I've got an unboxing of a gift sent over by you know, underscore minimalist EBC underscore a friend TV. And uh, he's killing it over here. Send me over something very special. Um, really appreciate him. Awesome everyday carry gear page. If you want to follow somebody who has mastered their collection uh, down to a small number. He's actually, I think, a knife guy. But he sent me over a watch strap. He's like, I don't know who to send this over to. So uh, why not knife watch? So thank you so much, T. Really appreciate you. So um, let's get into it. Minimalist EDC sent me a strap. And ooh, Shinola. Shinola, oh, Shinola. Gorgeous. Rubber strap. Comes with some spring bars. Very cool. Love that. Looks like this is a... 20 millimeter, okay, good, that is what he said. And wow, I have never seen a strap like this. So this is a vulcanized rubber strap um, that is really substantial. This is not your average OEM Seiko strap. Got a really cool kind of Thunderbolt here, logo there, you see that, cool. And um, looks very comfortable. So uh, really nice steel here. This seems very sturdy and secure. Looks completely unworn, but still has this kind of uh, this kind of battle worn look to it. Uh, so very cool. So I figure, what's the point of having a new strap if you don't try it on, right? Let's put it on a couple of strap monsters and see what we get. So thankfully, it was twenty millimeters, as he said, because I prepared a couple of options here. Uh, so this being a blue rubber strap, rubber goes with typically with dive watches, right? So what we got here today is the Islander. 38 millimeter dive watch, 200 meters of water resistance. And um, I've got it here on a strap code Jubilee, or as they call it, a, a J. Lewis, I guess. Um, so, you know, I do love having this uh, gold Jubilee on. It just makes it fun, right? This kind of, I call this like the Fruit Loops. It just is a little bit of bling here. Guys, you got to have fun here, right? We are in shelter in place quarantine. It's, it's very boring to sit in your house and do nothing all day. So being able to look down at your hands and see something really pretty um, is nice. You know, kind of kind of brightens up my day whenever I need that. And I got kids, so, you know, got to have some fun, right? Um, so I also have another surprise watch here that we can, we can try it on. But so we got this blue strap. So also going to do a little bit of just showing you guys what I do when I am working with a watch and I want to make something happen. Um, so the first thing that I do is um, I'll take off my rings. I got some bling on today, just having some fun in the house. And I will put on some gloves, okay? Just so that I, you know, I'm defending my watch away from a useless wear and tear, the oils of just holding and rubbing it. Um, I just put on some gloves to make sure that I'm using it properly. I don't want to scratch it up too much. And um, sometimes I use cloth, but right now I'm going to use some some bubble, bubble poppers right here, right? So um, you can see that I'm just going to be defending my, this watch from useless wear and tear. Okay. Also got my trusty, trusty tool for spring bars. This is the Bergeon. Can you see this Bergeon logo here? Uh, a little bit. Okay, Bergeon 6767. This is a fantastic tool. Um, I have put this thing through the ringer with different problems I've had with different watches, and this has really come through in the clutch. So let's see uh, how we get this going, right? Oh, actually, we have, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have drilled lugs here, drilled lug holes. So let me get a little bit of tool. Excuse me, guys. I guess I don't have it on me right now, so no worries. Either way, let me let me do it the old-fashioned way, right? So, um, got the Bergeon out here, and I want to show it off. So, let's work with that. Drilled lugs, usually you can just poke out the hole, but um, let me show you guys what I'm doing, right? That's the point of this. So, what I'm going to do, for everybody who's not so watch-inclined, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the bracelet on your watch for anybody who's never done it before. 
So I'll take this spring bar tool. They typically have a springiness to them inside. So I'm just trying to get some grip here. And with a bracelet, it's a little bit more difficult than with a regular strap because bracelets are really integrated in a way that makes it difficult for them to come off, which is great if you don't want it to come off and not so great if you don't. Okay, so I got that one loose and one half of the watch is disassembled or bracelet, I should say. Okay, let's get to the other side. Let's be friendly here. Don't want to scratch out these lugs too much, but it's not like a, a Rolex or a Tudor or anything like that. Not too worried about it. All right. Okay, got half of that. again can you guys see oh you guys can't even see me messing this up over here that's great that's good less embarrassment for me okay got it off so got your watch here right now what do you do with this right so now you know i'm screwed i i, I have no watch strap on you know i feel naked what do i do no problem take these spring bars that just came out of the bracelet you're going to put it into your actual, oh, this Chanel is a little tight here. Actually, wow, look at this. This is new to me. There's actually metal integrated into the strap to protect the strap from wear and tear. See that metal reflecting inside the strap? So this is a little bit too fat for this to go in. No problem. Thank goodness. Give me a second here, guys. I have some emergency spring bars. One second. Oh, wait. <laughs> Silly me. It comes with spring bars. All right. Enough silliness, knife watch. So it looks like I'm the first one to uh, deflower these spring bars. Okay. Cool. One, two. All right. So let's get these spring bars that I had on this strap code bracelet away. And let's use these OEM Shinola spring bars. You gotta be careful when you're taking out spring bars because they will fly through the sky like a reading rainbow. Okay, so this is the bottom half of the strap. Well, some people can switch them if you want, depending on your, you know, however you like it. it. Doesn't really matter if you have a preference one way or the other. So you can just stick, you get your spring bar inside of your bracelet. Put that on here. Put it through the hole. It'll fall out easily, but just put it right in put it right back in there pretty easily and what I do is I stick one part in here and I kind of so one this spring bar is in here already and this part you can see here is sticking out over it and I'll take my tool and I know this is not the best way to do it but on my beater watches I don't really mind let me get a focus there you guys see that okay Just stick that in there. Oops, sorry. Knocking the camera. Using the wrong spring bars. We've had better days and worse days. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Got it on there. All right. Hey, that looks pretty sharp so far. Let's get this other spring bar. Better to, to do this nice and slow. You know, you take your time, go at your own pace. This is not the uh, Olympics of spring bar changing, which I know is a thing on YouTube. Uh, unbelievable, I know, but it, it actually exists. People compete on the speed of these things. Uh, actually, my favorite YouTubers do it, so I'm not talking smack. I'm just a little jealous I wasn't invited to the Olympics. Anyway, I'm a rookie. All right, here we go. Getting this last lug in there, man. This one's a little bit more funky. Did I get it in there? I think I did. Okay, so we're done. I gotta say, off the bat, move this out of the way. That's that's a looker. 
That is a looker. It looks like a watch, right? Let's see how it looks on wrist. Okay, this is a rubber strap. It's great for smaller wrists. Love that. I've got a 6.75, AKA 6.85 when it's hot, inch wrist. That hole feels pretty comfortable there for, there we go. All right, can you guys see this? Look at that. Is that not smart or what? You know, then you then you grab your knife, you you go on Instagram and you feel cool, right? That's the whole point, right? Just feeling cool. Hey, I really like this. This is a natural fit for me. I'm this is a perfect summer strap. Hey, thank you so much, TV. Really appreciate it. Um, this is beautiful. I think you did a great job um, with your minimalist EDC channel. Again, guys, check them out. Underscore minimalist EDC underscore, and you did a great job sending me an awesome, beautiful, robust rubber strap. This is definitely the best rubber strap I own. And I have a marathon rubber strap that I just love. I know that um, T is also a huge fan of, of, of marathon, but this is, this is actually awesome. This might be the strap for this bracelet and for this watch. Um, so thanks again. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If not, then I have another watch we can try it on. <laughs> if you're bored, stick around and I'll just, I might as well just try this on another watch I have. This one will be easier to do a change with because I actually do have a Baltic Aqua Scav. Huh. Oh yes. The blue gilt. How awesome is that sunburst effect there? I mean, just the deepest blue, right? Do you think it'll go better than this? be honest with you, I think that the blue of this actually goes perfectly with it. I might not even mess with this. Huh. Yeah, so if you guys want to see me try this on more straps, you know, strap on more bracelet, you know, wow. Am, am I tired or what? If you'd like me to try the Shinola on a couple other watches, let me know down in the comments. If you want me to do the ba Baltic Aquascaf strap monster, just trying a bunch of different straps and see how it looks. Or uh, if you think this, this is perfect, let me know. Um, either way, if you guys have any recommendations for straps, you know, share them down in the comments. The whole point is that we all share and, and have a little bit more fun together. But um, I think we got something special here. And um, love that thunderbolt on the, on the strap. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm blabbering at this point. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care out there. Um, we're all just doing our best to keep it together here. And hopefully I added some uh, real, real riveting excitement <laughs> to your day. Anyway, take care. Peace and love. Knife watch.